Hey guys, this is Aduda2 and uh, this is going to be another part in my um, series on how to make a Gobon. Uh, in this episode I'm, I'm in my garage. I'm in front of a really bright window right now because it's the only time I can get away to do this so I apologize. Um, what I have uh, before me is the wood stain I'm going to use. Um, it's Colonial Maple 223 is the color. I'm using Mini Wax Wood Finish. Um, I have uh, a piece of the original uh, wood and on the other side uh, the unsanded uh, from what I cut it from. And I have my board. Uh, I have it sanded to where I'm uh, confident it'll look nice. And uh, what I did was I took a rag and I very very thoroughly wiped all the wood dust off. I just highly recommended that you do that. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the wood finish on this just to make sure I get my strokes and everything. And then I'm going to set this under here, balance it, and I'm going to do my first stain all around it and I'll do it with you. Now I've never stained anything before. Um, so I recommend not wearing anything too important to you. I got a beater shirt on, some beater shorts and some beater shoes. Um, it's also recommended that you use gloves, so I'm going to grab a pair of gloves. Um, it's also recommended that you do it in a well-ventilated area, okay? So preferably outside. Um, basically, you want to make sure you read the directions to be sure that you don't do anything, I, I guess, dangerous. But uh, I'm going to grab a pair of gloves and then uh, do my test stain, and then if everything goes good, I'm going to stain this right in front of you guys and. I'll come back for a, uh, you know, for a look after it dries. So, let me grab a pair of gloves here real quick. Um, sorry about the me being out of the screen here. So I got my gloves here. All right. So let's slap on some of these gloves. Okay. So now, uh, I'm not sure if you're supposed to shake it or not, but I'm going to. Remember, I've never done this before, so if, this, if you guys are interested in trying to do stuff, something like this yourself, and you've never done it before, you're not alone. So I'm opening up this. This is actually something we just had laying around the house. My wife, I think, stained something with it already. She's a staining expert, but being a man, I'm not going to go ask her for help. I'm just going to pretend I know what I'm doing and deal with the consequences later if I screw it up. Okay, so let's see. This is what it looks like. Um, it's kind of liquidy, a little less thicker than I thought it would be. Oops, I just spilled some. Isn't that great? Okay, so let's see what we got. I got two of these sponges. Hopefully these are going to be good enough. I didn't feel like dirtying any brushes. So let's... Uh, oh, that's really liquidy. Um, Maybe this isn't a good example because this would be the what, what gets stained because that's all laminate. So let's try this. There we go. It looks nice. It looks kind of brownish, a little more brownish than the orangish maple in color. But I'm assuming that's going to just kind of change. So that's what it is. Uh, the smell's not too terribly strong yet. Let's take a quick look here. And this is, uh, I'm sure you'll be able to see the finished product a little better than in this garage, but this is, this is what we got as a comparison. Not bad. Uh, I'm guessing, yeah, it's, it's actually starting to orange a little bit now instead of the red, the dark red. So I'm going to go with it. Um, hopefully, uh, won't have any kind of crazy issues. So what I'm going to do... Now, I'm not worried about my work surface being stained because it's kind of a old beat up workshop anyway, but um, if you are worried, you're going to want to put something down. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this on here, balance it kind of, and I'm going to work around this. It's pretty solid. So let's uh, make sure I got any dirt particles off. Alright, let's stain this guy, huh? So let's see. Looks like it's going okay, but it's not soaking in as well as I hoped. 
hoped. I thought I uh, got everything off when I sanded it, so this may take a couple treatments for it to seek in. Or it may not take at all, but actually it looks like it's not taking. So I may have a bit of an issue here. But I'm going to try it and let it sit, and I'll learn my lesson with you guys. And actually it looks like it's not taking at all. We'll see. I'm going to put it on anyway. I'm going to barrel through it here. Yeah, it's not looking like it's doing anything. I'm guessing I'm going to have to sand it a little more. Um, I'm sure if I stain the sides here, that would take. But I really thought I sanded off any, any type of extra stuff. going to do this anyway and let it sit. Just if anything to learn a lesson. Hopefully you guys can get a pretty good view of my problem here. probably be going with the grain. Let's try that. Let's switch it up so that's going with the grain. Hopefully whatever is the issue here will kind of solve itself and hopefully also the pattern that I'm brushing with isn't going to show up. If it does I'm going to probably need a bigger brush for a second coating to kind of cover this up a little bit. Again, it's not really going how I'd like, which I kind of expected. Uh, I'm working it, and it does seem like it's soaking in a little better than what I'd like. But I'm going to do the sides now. Let's see. Sides, I'm sure, will go a lot better. Oh, yeah. The sides seem to be doing their trick really well, which tells me it's something wrong with what I did up top. Maybe didn't sand enough. Let me get this, uh, let me get this side. And then, uh, let's see what's going on. This is how I'm doing it. Uh, there are a couple recommended methods, but this way kind of suits my situation with trying to get stuff done, etc. Okay. Yeah, it seems to be working a lot better on the sides. Okay, I'm not going to be able to see here. So let's see. Okay. Spend a little more than I need on the side just to make sure I got it because I can't really see. Okay. I notice there are certain lumps. I'm trying to get those out. Um, well, let me set this here. I'm going to put the lid back on it. I'll take my gloves off and give you guys an idea of what's going on. Uh, made a bit of a mess. Not too bad. take a look. Just give me a second, I'll take this off the tripod here. Okay. Alright, here's the deal. It's kind of wet on top. When I went down through the side, through the bottom, down here, it seemed like it soaked in really well. Let's see, a little more light on this side, right? Um, Bottom seems like it's soaked in, but the top seems like it's wet. See how there's a glaze, it's kind of liquidy. It looks like it's not really being sucked in very much. And actually, there's like uh, issues of 
where it looks like it's not. See the issue? Seems kind of liquidy. I think you can see it better now, probably. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to have to let it sit and see. Uh, either do a two-parter or just splice a couple videos together. But I'm going with the green and there are different like bubbles and I don't know because I've never done this before and my wife has but I'm not gonna not gonna ask her hopefully she won't watch this video and yell at me but uh my guess is it's one of one of a couple things happen um either it's perfectly fine and it just needs to soak in which would be awesome I'd like a thumbs up I'll take that or it's possible that um, because the sides went, sides went so well, they just uh, soaked right in, that um, this, whatever type of protective coating they put on it, it sunk way down, and when I sanded it, I didn't sand it off properly. And so, um, if that's the case, um, I might, this, you know, I'll let this sit, and when it dries, it probably won't stain very well. So, I'll either have to do a couple coats to make it work, or... I'll have to just re-sand everything and start again and just sand it even more rigorously than I did, which I thought was pretty rigorous. I spent a good 20 minutes just sanding this bad boy. Um, but uh, at least I did a decent job, I think, of showing you guys the process. You want to make sure you, uh, you know, go with the grain. Uh, and these are issues that you guys might uh, come across also. So. Hopefully you don't. Hopefully you pick a better piece of wood. Um, like I said, I cut mine from a uh, end table already, and it looks like I may or may not be having issues. So I don't know. But all in all, I mean, I like the color. Um, it's supposed to redden. Um, you could see uh, it's a little darker here, right? Yeah, you can see it's it's a little darker, so we'll see what happens. I'll see you back. Thank you. Okay, guys, here's a uh, here's the finished product. It actually don't look too bad on uh, video, but I'm not very happy with it. Um, I don't know if it's still not dry or what, but um, a couple things happened. One, um, it's a little sticky and there's a, a film on it that every time I touch it, it leaves a fingerprint. Um, another thing is that there are little bumps left over from the wood filler. Let's see if I can get some of these. Uh, let's see, maybe zoom out a little. Um, there are just a bunch of little tiny bumps going around. I don't know if you can pick these up, but um, they don't look very great. Um, also, um, you could see that things that I didn't see, like right here, we got a, a line, a lines, lines from the sanders that I don't know if this was from my sanding that it just didn't pick up, or if this is from um, perhaps. Uh, uh, sanding from uh, what Ikea did before they put their finish on it but um, a lot of imperfections are showing up which is uh, kind of frustrating um, so I don't know if I'm gonna have to maybe put another coat on or if I'm just gonna have to maybe sand this again and then uh, see what happens or maybe try to get some kind of finishing stuff not, I'm not sure how this is going, but I really didn't want all these imperfections showing. And as you could, as you could see, like here's a looks like a sand line going all the way down. Here's one. It looks like I might need to just resand over this and sand it even better, and maybe just rip the crap out of it so that it's for sure down to the wood. Because I don't know if it's just I don't know what it's doing. I mean, it looks. It looks okay until you get close to it, and then you can see there's uh, just all kinds of imperfections. Let's see if I can. Yeah, like, like, look at this. 
some imperfection. All oh, these are lines that are showing that shouldn't shouldn't really be showing. I don't know. So I'm, I'm getting a little getting a little frustrated here. Um, not quite sure what I'm gonna do next, but uh, I'll keep you guys filled in. Uh, maybe you guys could learn from my mistakes. I'm half tempted to just scratch the whole thing and uh, get a new piece of board and do it, but I think um, since I got this far, I'm going to at least try to finish with this, but then we have one incomplete step, which is, is no good for anybody, so, um, yeah, I don't know, I think I'm probably for the sake of uh, getting it done, uh, you know, just realize that I just, I'm not going to have the perfect flawless uh, board this time. Um, uh, probably just going to maybe try to find some type of finishing stuff and, uh, Maybe I'll put one more coat on just to make it a little darker, and then uh, we'll see how it see how it dries. And then after that, um, we'll, we'll put on the lines and we'll try to finish it and see how it turns out. Maybe it'll turn out okay. So um, yeah, let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, take my rag and I'm going to wipe off any excess, and I'm just going to let it dry for another day. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how she does. Uh, one more day dry, and then um, I think what I'm what I am gonna do is I'm gonna put another coat around this because it didn't seem to catch at all. Um, so I'm gonna do that right now. Put one more coat of wood around the edges, and then uh, I'll give it another day, and I'll check back with you guys. Um, so here, I guess to pass some time. I'll. around the edges right here in front of you. There's my brush. What I've been doing is trying to get the brush pretty full and give it another wipe off the excess this time. Let's not to leave it on. I'm just gonna go around the outside. See you in a day. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. Here's the deal. I uh, I'm done with it as far as I think can be done uh, for this video. Um, as you can see, it did not stain evenly. There are parts of it that uh, maybe I needed to sand more. Um, there's some parts around the edge that are a little funky, especially. Toward the top, you can see how the coloration is not consistent, um, especially toward the top. And I believe I put the coats on evenly, but just some of it didn't uh, didn't take. So here's the deal: I'm going to um, see. I did stain the side. You can see the color difference in the stain, kind of wrapped around the edge, and. Uh, See, this one's staying pretty good. But uh, out in this garage light, uh, can't really see very well, so, I mean, everything came out good except for these inconsistencies, like. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to darken these inconsistencies off up. So I'm going to do one more coat here and here. I'm just gonna try to cover these up in any really light spots and try to go around one more time. Um, and then I'm gonna do around the sides one more, because this, this looks like it needs done some. And then uh, 
but then that'll be it for the that'll be it for the staining video. And then um, next video we'll look at it really in detail in my nicely lighted basement uh, because by then the stain will be dry and we won't have to worry about the smell. And then we'll talk about the different methods for uh, measuring and for putting on the lines. All right, uh, see you guys next video. Hopefully uh, this is educational for you as it was for me. Thank you.